Yeah, yeah. Look, it's uh, it gives us a lot of confidence uh, to come come here and win a tournament like this. Uh, through the tournament, we saw there were a lot of. अरे वर्ल्ड कप जीतने के बाद फोड़ो यार ये सब हाँ तो at various stages of the tournament we were challenged in different parts of our game which I think pretty much we stood up to that challenges uh, against you know uh, various conditions various bowling types uh, so uh, I mean we can take a lot of positives uh, from this tournament not just a, not just for one or two players but for the entire squad whoever took part in this tournament for us at various stages I thought uh, they did their job. जी देखिए काफी मेरे को राहत मिलती है when we when when I see bowlers like this bowling in that fashion और ये मैं नहीं कह रहा हूँ मतलब जो हमारे पिछले पहले मेरे जो भी जितने भी लोग खेले और जिन लोगों ने भी कप्तानी की है I think fast bowling is something that all the captains took a lot of pride in तो मेरे लिए भी कोई अलग बात नहीं है मेरे लिए भी बहुत अच्छी चीज़ है ये कि जब हमारे पास पेसर्स है जो ऐसा काम कर सकते हैं चारों पेसर्स जो टीम में है इनफैक्ट पांच तो उनके अलग अलग स्किल्स है उनके पास अलग अलग वेरिएशंस है स्किल सेट है एक अच्छा स्विंग कर सकता है एक अच्छा तेज डाल सकता है एक अच्छा पीछे डाल सकता है एक अच्छा ऊपर से और हिला सकता है तो ये सब चीज़ें अगर आपको एक साथ मिलती है तो ऑब्वियसली as a captain you feel confident and हमारा ये काफी कोशिश था कि हमारे जो bowling attack में जो लोग होंगे वो थोड़ा सा variety लाए तो I think with this squad we have that variety कुलदीप और बहुत बढ़िया bowling किया उन्होंने हमने देखा under pressure जब भी उनको ball डालने का मौका मिला है specially against श्रीलंका क्योंकि हमारा score उतना बड़ा नहीं था उनके सामने और उसने आके क्रूशल टाइम पे क्रूशल विकेट्स लिए तो आई थिंक उसका कॉन्फिडेंस एवरी गेम ऊपर जा रहा है जो हमने पिछले एक डेढ़ साल में देखा है अभी कि जब भी उसको मौका मिलता है तो वो अच्छा बॉलिंग करता है टीम को अगर टीम की ख़राब सिचुएशन है तो वापस टीम का सिचुएशन खींच के अपने तरफ लेके आता है तो आई थिंक वो अच्छा क्वालिटी है एंड यू नो एज ए टीम हमारे को अगर ऐसा क्वालिटी वाला बॉलर मिलता है तो वो अच्छा लगता है Yeah, look, exactly I cannot say, but I know what is happening with Shreyas. Shreyas obviously had a, uh, he was not available for this game because there were certain parameters that were kept for him to tick off. I think today, I think he completed most of it. So, I would say 99% he should be okay as of now. Um, but he looks good. He batted, he fielded uh, for long hours before we came today. He was on the ground. Uh, so he is looking good at this point in time. So I don't think it's a worry for us. Aksar, um, not sure. Uh, you know, he had a small tear. Um, looks like maybe a week, ten days. I don't know. Uh, we just have to wait and see how uh, how that injury progresses uh, because every individuals are different. Some guys, you know, recover quite quickly. Uh, uh, so I, I'm hoping with Aksar that's the case. And so we'll wait and see what happens with him. Uh, obviously, I, 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 I'm not too sure whether he'll be okay to play the first two games against Australia uh, at home. But we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. Yeah, I, honestly, I was a little surprised. Uh, how much the wicket did because we didn't expect the wicket to do that much. Um, that's 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 been the nature of you know this ground. Uh, you have to be prepared for an unexpected things, uh, and that is the challenge as a sportsman you come across uh, when you are playing against conditions like this where you don't know exactly 
uh, what is the right score, what is the winning score. Um, you know, because we, the other day against Sri Lanka, we defended 213, but the other day we couldn't get 266. So, um, and today we bowled them out for 50 runs. So, uh, the nature of the pitch here has been slightly, uh, you know, challenging and unexpected as well. But, I mean, when you, when the pitch has so much to offer, we need the guys to have that skill to exploit that. And I thought, our bowlers had everything to exploit that conditions. Uh, you know, Siraj has to be mentioned, especially here because, um, you know, when the pitch is looking that dry, to get the ball to move around like that, it is a special skill set. Uh, so, I hope he continues that for a little longer for us. And, uh, yeah, at the same time, we just need to look after all the bowlers as well, make, make sure that they are fresh and keep them ready for all the games that is uh, in front of us now. Yeah. Uh, last Asia Cup that uh, you played in 2022, you addressed the press at that time. And most questions were about you know, where the team is in the world, you know, where it has to find that you need to spend a day, you need to do this and you need to the World Cup. This Asia Cup now, you're answering all questions about what are the positives in the game, where are your strengths. How different is Rohit Sharma feeling from that press conference of Asia Cup where you didn't qualify for the final? No, honestly, I I wouldn't. Uh, I'm not the person who changes or want to change based on how the results are going. Um, because at that, you know that that energy doesn't reflect on the boys. Uh, you got to make sure that you try and be neutral. Of course, you you take the learnings, you take the positives, you. You see where things went wrong, those kind of things. But I don't think I, I'm the person who changes too much based on the results because, you know, every day is different, every day is new. Um, you just got to give yourself the best opportunity to come out and, you know, do the things right. So I need to be in that state of mind where I can make those decisions. So if I keep changing and if I keep having mood swings uh, based on one or two results of one tournament, it's not going to help anyone and that is my logic. Everyone is different, but that's how I like to operate. Right, last week. Yeah. Um, I'm surprised that you know, in the last two years, you have played more than 50 on their own program. Number two question is that, do you ever think to give one more over to Siraj? Uh, I, I, I was surprised with the pitch and not surprised with the, uh, see I can't talk about how they batted and things like that. Uh, I, I can only talk about how we bowled and it was very pleasing to watch from the slips. Uh, I was standing behind, the guys were running hard, bowling quick. Uh, all the three bowlers, all the three pacers who bowled today, uh, you know, they bent their back really well. Uh, and Siraj obviously got the ball to move a, a little more than uh, the other two guys, but you know, it depends. Every day, uh, everyone cannot be a hero. Uh, you know, that's how the sport is so good uh, because you will find heroes every day, every different day. A different hero will stand up. And today it was Siraj's day, uh, and we all compliment him with that. And we want to. We were riding behind him when he was bowling that spell, um, and I mean he. Bowled seven overs in that spell. Seven overs is a lot. Uh, I wanted him to bowl, but I got a message from our trainer that we need to stop him now. Uh, he was quite desperate to bowl, but that's that's the nature of any bowler or any batter. When they see when they see the opportunity, they want to pounce on it. But that's where my job comes in, and I want to make sure that everything stays little calm and you don't over exaggerate yourself too much. Uh, so. Yeah, that's that's the call. I remember against Sri Lanka, we played in Trivandrum. He was in a very similar situation, and he bowled about eight or nine overs on the trot uh, because he was on four four wickets. Uh, but I think seven over is good enough. First of all, congratulations. Uh, my question is, uh, what are the positive things you are taking from Asia after the? A lot of positives. Uh, some of our batters actually batted under pressure. 
you know, the first game against Pakistan, it was a big game. Um, and we were four down for 60 or 70, I think. And then, you know, two guys stood up for us, Hardik and Nishan, batted brilliantly. Uh, that's a big positive. You know, we wanted our middle order to get in there, you know, take the pressure, bat the way they want to bat. And they exactly did that. They batted the way they wanted to bat. Uh, and, you know, after a while, we were very calm inside the dressing room because, you know, they were batting with a lot of maturity. Um, and then, um, obviously, the batting in this tournament has been really good for us. Uh, so is the bowling. But at different stages, Different individuals have stepped up, uh, you know, against Pakistan, Kuldeep stepped up, took five wickets, Bumrah with the new ball, bowled a brilliant spell. Uh, and then uh, with the bat, KL Rahul, honestly, it is so tough uh, for anyone who comes in like that. Uh, just five minutes before the toss, we had to tell him that he's going to play. Unfortunately, uh, unfortunate incident happened there uh, and KL has to come in and play. And to get a hundred like that, uh, you know, shows the quality of the player, shows how mentally he is ready for the challenge as well. So, those are the positives, you know, you know, we want the players to stand up in big moments, uh, big pressure situations. And throughout the tournament, I thought a lot of the guys, you know, stood up in that pressure situation. So, we can take, you know, those positives uh, moving forward, like we know now, uh, not now, I mean, I knew it before, but that the guys can stand up under pressure and, you know, perform the job for the team. Uh, and the same goes for the bowlers as well. Uh, bowlers perform their role, uh, you know, whenever the ball was given to different individuals, they, they came and did the job. And not to forget, the most important thing was our fielding in, in this tournament. Yes, we were slightly below par in a couple of games, but I thought our fielding was outstanding in this series, slip catching especially. Uh, you know, to some of the paces, uh, I thought our slip catching was really good. So I'm very, very proud of how we fielded in this. You can have one or bad, one or two bad games in the field, but you know, as long as you back it up with a solid performance uh, uh, with, on the field next day, and that is what we look forward to. Because mistakes can happen with with anyone, uh, but as long as you come and correct those mistakes and you show the attitude and you show that intent on the field. That is what you want, and I and I got to see everything of that. I uh, wanted to know where Washington Sundar is placed in terms of betting order because we saw him uh, fly out immediately, and perhaps we get time to acclimatize. Yet was in the eleven, though he couldn't get too much. So where does he lie in terms of plans for India, and how do you look at him? See, yeah, with with the spinners all rounder, I think everyone is in the line. Honestly speaking. Ashwin as well, I've been talking to him on the phone, uh, so he's very much in the line, so is Washi because we want those those guys who can do the job with the ball and with the bat as well. Um, Washi was, I mean honestly, we that injury happened to Aksar last minute, uh, you know, very late in the day, uh, in the night honestly. Uh, and then we had to call a uh, few guys to see where they are at and uh, Washi was available, so we had to get Washi to, you know, come and play the role, perform the job for us. Uh, luckily, he was with, with the squad uh, for the Asian Games in Bangalore. He was training, he was bowling, so he was uh, cricket fit. He was spending a lot of time on the field, so we had to get him. Um, but yeah, I've been, I've been very clear with certain guys who can come up and play uh, certain roles. So, I've been talking to everyone. Uh, I don't want to take names, but everyone is aware of what is happening. So, nobody is kept in the dark about what we are doing as a team. Everybody is kept in the loop. Thank you. Thank you, guys.